everybody and welcome to episode 101 of the Hardcore Vanilla series. And in this particular episode, oh no, I just watched a screamer spawn in. Go away, nobody likes you. In this particular episode, I'm actually thinking something unusual. I might fly between the traders and start spending all of my money. Because I have a lot and I don't think that Jen is going to produce enough good stuff for me to spend all of it. And that is after all the point. Well, that's a lot of moonshine. I'll take it. There's another good reason for going around to the traders, checking the vending machines for more Mega Crush and moonshine. It's good. It'd be very disappointing if I went through all of this effort and then died as soon as the Blaze of Glory occurred. No, that would suck. Oh, let's go ahead and dump some of these resources that we got. No matter where you mine, you almost always end up finding iron connected to every node on the map. Sometimes iron nodes lead to other things, but almost every time other nodes lead to iron. Let's see, we have more stone. Could probably be separated comfortably among all of these. Take those darts out. Begin crafting as much cement as possible. Oh dear, there's more darts incoming. Ah, uh, this one is already crafting cement, so... Well, continue. And that one can be left alone. The dogs away in here? Alright. I suppose it would be a good idea to put away most of this stuff before going on this little merchant escapade. Have as clear of an inventory as possible just in case they do somehow have a lot of really good stuff. It's not likely, but they may. Objective numero uno here is grabbing all of the money. I suppose it might not be a bad idea to buy the awesome sauce as well. Just in case I find a merchant who has a lot of stuff. Hooray for Trader Joel's. We'll start the day off by looking at Jen's stuff. And then we're going to be going all over the map, looking at all the trader inventories. Oh wait, not looking for jobs. By default, I tend to click into the quests. Uh, well, I can tell I've already looked through this because I bought the brawling books. Interesting that Jen has the bar brawling books. Does Jen throw hands? She might. Perhaps that's her style. But since she has virtually nothing, where's the highest density of traders? To the south, it's Bob, Joel, then... Jen. And then after Jen. Ugh. Oh, damn it. I do believe that was a real scream. <laughs> Seems to have conjured up a few chunky boys. Oh, don't spit at me. That's rude. Ouch. Get out of here. Who do you think you are? Somebody who can sneak up on me or whatever? Well, you're not. Got him. Yeah, we'll start by going south and then make a nice big circle until we find our way back around. Oh, there's a rad boy. <laughs> well, he'll probably despawn if I go far enough. We likely won't be doing much exploring once the great event occurs. That 105th day where the blaze of glory begins. So, this is the last time we'll be able to do this. Ooh, a supply crate. Might as well. Nice and slow, and then we dismount. Aha, no damage. It's pretty nice, actually. See a wolf in the distance? He's just staring me down. I'd say, okay, just don't attack, and you'll be fine. Good doggy. Good thing I came across food, because I didn't bring any. I don't usually have any in the gyrocopter. Range mods, full auto, scope, volume of string. Hmm. I don't need any of this. Goodbye. Book. Magnum ammo. All garbage. Dog, you're getting closer. You're literally approaching the equivalent of the Grim Reaper in this world. Everyone dies but me. So back the hell up, unless you want to be my lunch. Oh, crap. One more? Two more? Is that one dog or two dogs? One dog and a zombie. In the distance? Well, they're gonna have to wait. We're making our way to Joel. It's been a while since we came to this winter wonderland. I definitely think the next series, whatever it may be... For seven days is going to be done in a different biome for the home base. One, it's higher difficulty. Two, it's more entertaining. And three, I've had enough of the forest. Oh dear. You know, they need to make a better way to go down in this thing. As it stands, I basically just have to rotate and drive in circles until eventually I hit the ground. Eventually. Ooh, a landing pad. Oh, no, that's a wall. All right, I'll be back, gyrocopter. <laughs> ah. Grace. Oh, Bob. Thought this was Joel. Hmm, I see. Well, let's get that mega crush. Moonshine, more of it, why not? What about over here? Atom junkies to increase explosive damage, I'll take it. Alright, Bob, what have you got? Mods, nothing worth mentioning. Tools, nothing worth mentioning. He's got some gas, I guess I'll buy that. Doesn't hurt to have it. What about books? What do you have? The one for sledgehammers? Really, not needed. Ammo and weapons. But that really matters. Um, I'm tempted by these rockets, but they also do a boatload of block damage. They're more for killing structures than people. 
I mean zombies. Same thing. Grenades, however, I'll take those. Doesn't hurt. Sniper rifle, tier 5. Well, we don't have one of those yet, so we'll try it. Clothing, armor, decor. <laughs> Azalea. I'm good. See you later, Bobby boy. I'm taking your dirty water. Thanks. The parting gift is a jar of piss. <laughs> Oh, what are you guys doing out here? They were nice and quiet until I opened that door, like they were just waiting. I may not find out in this playthrough, but I will, one day, know where you get your damn hoodies. All right, if I can, there we go. Just wanted to hit his body, man. Ah, the head doesn't count as being attached to the body. Interesting. Very interesting. All right, the next closest traitor is to the Weast. And a little bit south, but mostly Weast. So Weast we go. No oh dear. Here's that winter biome fog again. Just go nice and high so we don't accidentally hit anything. Like, you know, trees or the ground. At this point, we found out that I can hit just about anything with this gyrocopter if I'm not paying attention. It's one of my many skills. Oh dear. Either I'm going down again or I'm... The trees are getting bigger. As much as I'm not going to miss this map, it wasn't the worst random generation it could have been. I don't like the fact that it's been eternally storming. I aim straight down and then dismount. Ouch. I'm okay. <laughs> I think the gyrocopter took some damage though. That's fine. The gyrocopter will be a-okay. Joel's vending machines are on the outside here. Awesome sauce. No, none of this. What about here? Atom junkies, explosives. Yeah. Health bar. Hmm. So... Crit resistance, crit healing, uh, I won't remember it, pass. Now then, Joel, what you got? Starting with mods, a lot of nothing. Armor, why are all of their stores organized differently at the top? Jen starts with medicine, so maybe that's got something to do with it. Is Joel the armor guy? He might be, I don't know. He's also good gas cans, I'll take them. Well, gas, not the cans. Nothing else worth mentioning. Reading materials, everything. So he is the armor guy, that's why he sells the armor books. I'm assuming. Tools, relevant. Food, relevant. Armor piercing ammo is tempting because, well, becomes capable of going through multiple enemies at once. Very tempting. But the magnum ammo can already do that. We'll see how effective that truly is as we move ahead. For now, we buy the explosives. And here we go. These are the rockets we want to buy. They do not do a boatload of structure damage, unlike the other one. And the rest of this is fairly Much irrelevant. Obliged. Much obliged indeed. I won't be seeing you again for this playthrough, Joel. No more drug runs. Have a great life. Where did I park my gyrocopter? Right here. Wait, we should figure out where the next trader is. Northwestish. Northwest, so up this way. That, that way. Toward the red marker. So be it. This is a wandering horde. <laughs> You'll never catch me now. <laughs> they only spawn once a day and they oh I hit a tree. They might catch me. Okay, we're still airborne. They'll never catch me. <laughs> uh, as far as I know, the way wandering hordes work is that they can only occur once every 24 hours, I believe. And within that 24 hour period, every hour has a random chance to spawn the horde. I might be wrong about this, but I think that's how it works. So since we saw the horde there, we won't be seeing them again. Too bad. That is the only building that I remember. It's like a weird pseudo hotel type thing. The ostrich hotel, is that correct? Probably. Big old parking garage too. I feel like I've done that POI every other time I've played the game. Somehow I didn't this time. I'm also upset that we never got brought to the big church. I love the church. It's one of my favorite POIs. Especially the catacombs beneath. Oh, safe as landing and a stop sign. <laughs> and I can't move either. How adequate. <laughs> I got stopped by the stop sign. Oh man, amazing. I'll be leaving this door open. This gen is the imposter. So it doesn't matter if she gets eaten. Adam Junkies, the rest is irrelevant. Over here, Mega Crush, four of them. Why do all the other merchants have so much more, well, sauce? Oh, right? oh, opening trade routes. I see. Apparently I had a quest here. Yeah, see, the organization starts with medicine and food for her, and then makes its way to armor. Five of these Furious Piss books. Why? Not all traders are created equally. Maybe the biome affects the trader inventory. It could. It might. It may. I'm assuming, yes, more gas. And our dukes are still basically untouched. 
Now, as far as I can tell, there's nothing else worth mentioning here. Rocket frags, these are the good ones, I'll take that. Shotgun shells, sure. That's a tongue twister and a half. SMG tier 5, those are uncommon. I don't think I have a tier 5 at my base. Hmm, I also don't need one, because I can use 9mm for turrets. So I'll pass, for now. Mods, irrelevant. Armor, this, no. You are a deceiver. The real gen is back that way, toward home. Don't keep all the doors open. <laughs> Wait, I came in through that door. This door is already open, which means I did this the last time I was here too. Well, it's the price she pays. Impersonation is no small thing. Also, screw this damn stop sign. That hit the gyrocopter, not the sign. <laughs> damn it. I can't seem to back it up, so I'm gonna have to pick it up it's instead. That's great. Oh, there actually is an enemy. Wow, Shirley wasn't lying this time. Hey, hey, take take a dog to the face. I gotta repair this thing. Now you, you picked up, but you're right there on my hotbar. Oh, the enemies appear to be spawning. Let's go this way. I believe the nearest trader is north, maybe? What the hell? Super far out to the west. So we'll go that way. Hey, get out of here. So I guess we're going super far west. And we have liftoff. I mean, I could set a temporary marker... I can get enough height, I can open my map and mark something without falling. Hopefully, yes. Upsy daisy and map time. Oh, I can hear the engine stopping. Right here. Quick waypoint. There we go. So, that is our objective. Quite the distance. A nice relaxing ride around town for the end of our series. Saying hello and goodbye over the last time to each of the traders. Not that I interacted with most of them much, it was really just Jet, who I still don't trust. There is no such thing as a Dr. Tickler. She's a fraud, which makes the one that was just impersonating her a double fraud. Also, I'm thirsty, apparently. Good thing Shirley always has food and drinks on her. Once we hit our destination, they'll be having me some good old aqua, just sailing through the sky. I think I'm actually up in the clouds. I can kind of see some POIs if I look down. Maybe. No, mostly trees. Lots and lots of trees. I guess I could get closer to the ground in case I see anything, but it's all fog in this biome. So it's not likely. At all. Oh, I can see a road. That's something. <laughs> you know, basing up in the winter biome might actually be fun. But I think the desert might be the answer. Just because oil. Although it does get a little annoying, once you're in the desert biome, if you start digging around a lot for other ore, you'll find that almost every single ore is connected to oil somehow. Like half of the biome underneath the first layer is all oil. The other half is sand. Mmm. Sand. I think it would be good for the devs to create a function in the game for extensive amounts of money. Even Darkness Falls doesn't know what to do with a player who has an insane amount of money. So, he implemented, he being Kane the creator, implemented a insanely expensive helicopter. Which, hey, that's still better than not being able to spend your money on anything of real worth. Even this is a bit of a waste. A lot of the things that I'm buying I could do just fine without. Well, time to start descending, see if we can't touch grass. Don't hit the cactus. Okay, I just deleted it. That works for me. Poor, poor cactus being deleted from existence. A tragic tale of one cactus and his will to survive. Where are the stairs? Oh, there we are. Get a little lost in the POI. I mean the traitor. Whatever. Moonshine. Moonshine. Oh, I have books. Hold on a second. Read these. Almost done with that now. By the Mega Crush, more moonshine. And over here, oh shit's drops, don't mind if I do. And the rest is irrelevant. Howdy, Joel. Nope, pretty close though. Mods, armor, nothing. Buy some more gas. Why not? Oh, he's also got the brawling books. Look at you. Moving up in the world, Joel. I'll just take everything that I can and learn from. It's not like I'm losing anything out of the ordeal. I have plenty of money. More shotgun shells. More rocket frags. There's only one. Dab. Exploding arrows. And... Oh dear. Hold on. I gotta make some room. Apparently. Filling up on quite a bit of stuff. Now there was more in there. Hold on. Grenades. 27 in total? Jeez. Been stocking up, Joel? You've been waiting for me. You knew I loved grenades, didn't you? You always were my favorite iteration of... Joel. Alright, the rest of this loot is irrelevant. Bye, Joel. Other Joel, who probably also sells drugs. Where's my gyrocopter? Back this way. Interesting. We are not alone. You're right. 
were surrounded by cactuses and some very low IQ zombies who just jump over them like they're playing leapfrog. Where are you going? What is wrong with you? What, what, did, the, what did that pole do to you? <laughs> Stop. It's okay, pole. You'll be okay. Mm, those only give five plant fibers apiece. No thanks. But I am curious. I've never really thought about this, but the players can't build these kind of walls at all. We're not allowed. I'd like to. That would be cool. Okay, where is the next one? Straight north, basically. So, north we go. Nice clear runway. No zombies. No distractions. So we have liftoff. To the north we go. Probably should have refueled, but whatever. More than anything, I should probably try to mark my target on the map. Like so. There we go. Nowhere near as far as the last route was. Hey, there's that Higashi's residence, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I've only run it once, so I guess I shouldn't pretend to be able to recognize it. It just got very dark and very light, very quickly. This really did randomly generate as main. One moment it's dark and stormy, the next day it's sunny, but it's snowing. Best to never plan on trusting the weatherman. Mars. Oh, I never really visited the ocean in this particular map, did I? I can see it there, but I haven't had a reason to. Seems like the next place we're going to be visiting is the wasteland, which should be very fun. Oh dear, oh dear, gave it a little too much, a little too much downward. Dismount, done cleanly. I only ditched my gyrocopter, just picked that up and pretend it never happened. You know what, I like Bob, so I'll close the doors. You're welcome. Check the vending machines first, like usual. Oh shit's drops, don't mind if I do. The rest of this, whatever. Moonshine. Make the crush and ignore the rest. Howdy, Bob. Something is getting sniped, which is confusing because, um, there's no guns around here. Also, this guy has 4x4 truck accessories? Why? Why do you do this? Solar bank, still don't know what that does. Give it. More importantly, I don't know what I will do with it. I know it produces electricity. Or at least I think that I know. It would make sense. It's a damn solar bank. But we know it holds electricity, and I need solar cells, which again, I can only buy from the merchants. So what exactly am I supposed to do about that? More gas. I lack inventory space, so all the gasoline can go on you. Except for one stack. It's my stack. You can't have it. You know what, take the explosives too. Yeah, that'll do. Now then, we bought all the gasoline. I guess I'll take the duct tape. Now we check the weapons. My explosive, no. I don't need that much boom boom power. A robotic turret, but a low tier one. Hmm, it is actually a little tempting. Although I think I have plenty of robotics parts. I could just grab some of my own if I really need more. The ammo is more difficult to get than the turret themselves. And the rest of your stuff is fairly unnecessary. You had some candles. Let's see. Drinking time. Gotta hydrate. All right, Bobby boy. Goodbye. Have a nice life. Would be nice if I could just interact with this helipad spot and teleport to the nearest traitor, but I guess not. That would be too convenient. Wouldn't it, Fudpins? Wouldn't it? Hey, who are you? And you? And you. Dead people. That's who you are. You're correct. Well, there's another one. Stop it. Alrighty. Where is the next traitor? Is it more to the north? More to the east? Or more to the west? Traitor Joel right here. Right? This one? In the middle of nowhere? That's the one. So we're heading... That will just mark him. Rather than trying to guess it. Northeast. We'll get some air and then turn around. Seems to be the optimal method. Now I see a hole that I dug in the earth <laughs> while I'm Tokyo drifting. Nope, don't go down. Don't go down. Don't do it. It's not worth it. The ground is not your friend. Not at all. All right, and we have liftoff. Into the wasteland we go and get ready for lots of storms and thunder and scary spookiness. Here it comes. Yep, the tone shift is v very fast. The spooky. At least the trees aren't too tall in this biome, that's an advantage. The winter biome is the worst one to fly in by far, undeniably, verifiably. Other oblies. Trying to stay close enough to the ground to notice if there's other traitors, but I can't really say I would recognize the POI in this fog either. Everything's so damn bland here. What is that? Is that a tower? Looks like one. Neat. Very neat. What about right there? Ooh. A lot of interesting things. I wonder if there's POIs that can only spawn in certain biomes. Like a winter only, or wasteland only, or desert only biome. I don't know of any myself, so I couldn't say. Oh dear. Let's just dismount here. More accidental bars. 
Oh, I missed. How silly of me. I'm quite certain there really aren't any biome-specific POIs. There are in Darkness Falls, specifically the Wasteland. Howdy, Joel. Hmm. Mods? Irrelevant. I don't know why I even keep checking them. I'm capped out on all my mods and armor now. Gas cans? Saves me time. I'll take it. Cloth? That's a direct translation to duct tape, I suppose. I'll take it. Hmm. Nothing else here. Books? Rifle world? I'm just taking all the books that I can read now. Rocket frags? Ooh, 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 twelve of them. Exploding arrows? At some point I'll have to use those on a horde night, because I have many now. Shotgun shells? Sure. And the rest of this can be ignored. Checking the science tab, the medicine tab, the rest of this irrelevant. No gratitude to you, Joel. This one's an imposter. I'll leave the door open. You can be eaten alive. I know, I said open. Also, did I leave anything in these? Or are these all straight up empty? I did, in fact, empty the entire thing. Now that I've opened that door properly, let's go ahead and check at least one more merchant. Who's left? Trader wrecked in the southwest. See if we can't get airtime and then make our way to him. And whoa, 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 whoa. Had to go back down there for a moment. There was street lamps. Oh, this thing backs up so slow. Sometimes when you're moving forward, it just decides to turn. Very unusual. And we have liftoff. Uh, I was going to say that I might have been better off refueling, but it should be fine. Upon this next merchant, I will have to repair and refuel this thing, though. It means business. It's, um, kind of smoking <laughs> from, from both ends, and I don't think it's supposed to do that. I might be wrong, but I don't think it is. Almost there. You know, this town looks a little bit more interesting than my own. It would have been better to base up here. So much of the playthrough was decided simply because I based up at the first merchant that I found. Which, uh, whatever. Recognize that POI? That's the farm right across from Jen's. We really do need a combo pack for the next iteration of our hardcore series. Uh, if we even do hardcore, I don't know if I want to with Darkness Falls, I'll probably get bodied. See, if we can't land on the helipad, hmm, how good is my driving? How good is my driving? Yeah, I'm <laughs> pretty good, honestly. Let's hit the vending machines first. More moonshine and Mega Crush. The other traders really do just have more. Adam Junkies, good stuff, and wrecked. If you break it, you buy it. I'm gonna break you. Resources. More gas. Come on, dude. You can't be a hillbilly and not be loaded with duct tape. This is a ruse. Food. Nothing worth mentioning. Medicine. Same story. Nothing more than hammer books, which I won't be using sledgehammers, so nothing worth mentioning at all. Now over here. HE. No, don't want that. Contact grenades. Yes, we do. Here we go. Frags. Very nice. Shotgun shells. <laughs> he has a, an individual shotgun shell here. Kind of funny. Honestly, and I'm gonna buy it. Mine. The rest of this is very ignorable. Science, mods, armor, etc. See you later, Wrecked. Hmm, what was that, Wrecked? I couldn't hear you past the sound of your plot armor. You might ask yourself, with the blaze of glory coming up, was that worth it? And the answer is, um, yeah. Have you met Wrecked? No, oh, God, this thing turns so slow. If I do this just right, I think I can get air before i hit the porta potties no oh, no i hit the porta potties come on straighten out come on we can do this we can if we just believe <laughs> amazing don't hit the tree don't hit the tree good you know i didn't even look for where i was going to go before i took off i should probably do that so i will let's just get some air time first straight up and oh, i guess we're just going back home this was it so we're heading straight east i think oh no I think I have to refuel. Oh, we'll see. I think I'm fairly close to home, and I should have enough gasoline for it. One of the best parts about flying this thing is watching the buildings randomly spawn and despawn. Ah, how beautiful it is. <laughs> Just watching, watching the world struggle to exist. Just keep going east, and we should manage to find our way home. Should. I think I'm going the right way. I'm right. No. Well, I guess I'm going to Trader Bob. Wasn't my intent, but okay. We'll refuel there. If I can manage to remember, I'll refuel before we even go into the Trader. See a plus sign. Is that another one of those military bunkers? Probably. Ah, uh, the distance I can see it. That very first Trader. I haven't seen you since episode one, bud. I say this like I'm already there, but I am almost there is that him that is down we go. you know there's another town over there i could have i could have gone so much closer oh dear 
Down we go, slowly, slowly. Let's turn the nose down and pedal W and W. And dismount. Perfect lead. Listen here, hoodie guy. I don't know. <laughs> Something about the way that he flew sideways was very entertaining. Just max out the repair and the refuel. Done. Now then, Bobby boy. It has been some time. Hasn't it? Nothing to say? Just gonna stand there in the distance with your icon out? Absolute pervert. Oh, shit's drops, I'll take those. Last batch of moonshine. And Mega Crush. We got a lot of that in this trip. A lot. Hold on a moment. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. <laughs> Excuse me? You have an entire gyrocopter? Why do you have an entire gyrocopter? Bob. Bob. Why? Explain yourself. You couldn't have... Oh, it's almost closing time. Damn it. Okay, exploding arrows. Just damn it, Bob. An entire gyrocopter. Entire gyrocopter, really. That's how that's how this works? You couldn't like send me information about that in the mail? Alright. Screw you, Bob. I'm out. Could use that thing on like episode 40. But no. He's selling a gyrocopter now. When I'll never see him again. It's the way it is, hmm, Bob. I'm actually upset. <laughs> Why does he why does he have a gyrocopter? Bob is officially the number one trader. Don't hit the tree. Don't hit the tree. Have you tried turning where the gyrocopter is actually angled? I've heard that it's pretty cool when you function properly. Sometimes people like it. This damn thing. Sometimes it doesn't even Tokyo drift. It just picks a direction and goes, regardless of which way you're angled. Well, that was the nighttime ring-a-ding. If this supply crate, let me check if it is, is close enough, I'll get that first. But I didn't even see it on the map, actually. Huh. I guess it's not too relevant. I might just store things on Shirley and get to the nitrate again. I could still use more. You know what? Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? You can't go wrong with nitrate. Unless you don't have coal, in which case, why do you have nitrate? Stop. Go get coal. It's one or the other. I mean both. It's both. Or the nother. <laughs> Damn, I did all of this trekking on foot? Good god. My perseverance is astonishing. There's the nitrate. So yes, just keep hitting in this direction. We're almost there. Do you see that portion of the map that's kind of like just barely loading in over there? Like in the upper right of my screen. Do you see that? Looks like a strip of something. Very weird. What is that? What are you? Explain yourself. The hell? It's got like a fog around it too. I am so confused and it's blinking i think it's the top of a poi i'm gonna find out i'm too interested you can see it though right that fog i see it i see the crap out of it the fog and there's something inside of it it's very high up it seems check this out and then i'll go to the nitrate i just want to know what you are what are you looks like some ghost ship type stuff but i find myself the flying dutchman just added in this update what is that fog it's the winter bio but what in the winter bio what are you interesting interesting it's trader joel he's still lit up it's like he's still rendering in the map what is that a waning moon i think or is that waxing it's waxing i don't know well back to the nitrate i guess turns out that's not the flying dutchman it's just joel not de-rendering when he is supposed to you have to admit it was a little suspicious at least a little leave that is lead and the nitrate is behind it i'm gonna dig a big old hole yes i am down we go. Come on. Down we go. <laughs> Descending in this thing is really terrible. Really terrible. Don't hit the tree. Don't do it. And we are here. Kind of? Maybe? Yes, I see the hole. I'm just going to pick the gyrocopter up and go in the hole. All right. I'll see you all once I'm done digging and clearing a bit of inventory space. Good God. So much stuff. Read this. Take that, and this, some of these, that should do. Now then, time to dig a big old hole, right about now. Gee Willikers, mister, that was a lot. And I mean a lot of nitrate. I think I got a total of seven stacks, something like that. And that was the morning ring a ding dog. Ah, getting bumped by dirt. Get out of here, you silly, silly dirt.
Go ahead and make our way back home. That hole is starting to get rather large. We'll have to cover these up at some point. Maybe. If I even get the opportunity to visit them. I really don't know how the Blaze of Glory is going to go. Because I have the first half of the day, well, the episode, to actually do activities. Be productive. Produce things. Repair things. I have to do it all on the same day. And then, <laughs> Horde Night. Every. Single. Night. We'll see how it goes. For now, we have to make our way to the ground. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Dismount. Dismount. Okay. Nailed it. But this has been episode 101. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.